Hello everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe from NVIDIA Shield Zone. I'm going to show you how to add a sort of uh, makeshift power switch on the main screen of the Android TV um, using uh, the Oreo uh, update. A lot of people are concerned that they don't have access to a quick and easy power button, so I took an existing Android one from the Android store, the Google Play store called Power Menu Root. I converted it to look and act like an Android TV application. We're going to sideload it, um, and then we're going to go ahead and put it right here on the menu and show you how it works. So the first thing we're, we're going to do is you're going to download and copy the APK file onto your uh, Shield TV. I'm not going to go through that process, um, but I do happen to have it locally here, so I'll show you the process going forward. Now understand that this is an altered APK. At any given time, uh, Google Play could determine that it's a security or a hack. It, it really is not. All I did was change the manifest a little bit. For those of you who don't care about the technical aspects of it, just install the application. It doesn't require any strange permissions, but it does require root access, of course, to control power. Once it's installed, you're going to get the sort of default look of the power menu. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into these three dots at the bottom. I'm going to take off the things I'm not super interested in. I'm going to change it to dark style. And I'm going to remove the show confirmation box. All right, so now I've got something that looks like a relatively nice little power menu. We're going to get back out of our uh, file explorer. And we're going to go into to add favorite apps. And you should see it listed right there as power menu. We're going to go ahead and add that to our favorites. And at this point, you can put it wherever you like. Um, probably somewhere where it says most on the screen most of the time as you would like. So you can put it all the way at the beginning if you'd like. As long as it's on the screen, it's good for me. So we'll go ahead and move it right over here. Perfect. All right, so now I can get to it relatively easy from wherever. And I can hit that, and then I can power off, reboot, or screen off. In this case, I'm just going to do a simple reboot. And the first time, it will ask you for root access, so you'll have to grant that. And the system will reboot. It's really just that simple. Um, the so that's, that's nice. I haven't tested the sleep mode, but as soon as it comes back up, we'll test that real quick. A lot of people I know are a little upset about the Oreo update taking away some of those uh, features that they're used to. Um, I will show you sort of an alternative for those who maybe are um, not familiar with Oreo or the way that the uh, NVIDIA Shield TV is handling that. So we'll give that just a moment to reboot. Again, if you do not have root access, this application will not work. Um, on NVIDIAShieldZone.com, you can uh, get the appropriate uh, root tutorial that will help you root your device. All right, so let's take a look, and we'll see if screen off actually sleeps. Again, remember, this was for Android, not for Android TV, but let's see if it behaves. Wake up. It does. Perfect. Well, it works exactly as I'd hoped. Excellent. Um, for those of you, I did promise a little alternative. Um, if you hold the back button on the Shield TV controller, you do get a quick settings menu, and you could immediately sleep right now if you wanted to um, without actually having That might solve a lot of people's issues without having an immediate access to a sleep or power off. Um, but for those of you who are looking for a true power off or a true reboot, this is a nice, easy way to do it. Uh, and again, the... Uh, the Power Menu Root uh, conversion application is available on NVIDIAShieldZone.com. I'll have a link directly for you in the uh, video notes below. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, remember, this is Shane R. Monroe, NVIDIAShieldZone.com. Thank you for watching.